Hello and welcome back. So we so far have schools, stuff, and uh, we now need students. Now displaying students is exactly like this, where we're displaying staff members, only that we're going to be seeing students only. Now you may prefer to display these in table format, so you can display many of these at the same time. But it's not really a big deal because we're going to put a search here. If you're looking for a specific student, you can simply search or a specific staff member, you can simply search. So the search will be real time. You don't even have to click enter or something. You just type the name and it will bring suggestions. But for now, uh, let's actually mimic the, if I click on the profile, you see there's this segment here the nav that is here i want to copy this and add it to to the top here so let's go back to our project close all files then i will go to profile right where there is a search and this is the nav right here so i'm just going to copy the entire thing and uh, there's a form there okay that's okay then what i will do is go to users.view and this is where the button is for adding new stuff but let me put the nav right at the top here okay great so let me refresh and you see there there's a search but I want this button in here so we don't waste space. So I'm going to just move this guy right after the form there. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it works like a charm. Push it a little bit inward like this. Okay, pretty great, yeah? So now we can add new over here, cancel, and we are back. And we can also search to find a particular staff member. If we click on students, uh, this is what we are seeing, which should not be there. So let's fix that, shall we? So obviously we're going to copy what we have from users, copy everything, select all copy, go to students select all paste save change that to students and change that to students as well okay so the query remains the same selector from users where school ID is equal to school ID. This is important. But then here on users, we have to avoid showing students here. So I'm just going to say and at the end of this and rank is not equal to student. Now, if you want to show, you want to specify a specific selection of what you want, you can use, say, rank. If you say in, for example, like this. So let me duplicate this a little bit and put brackets around this. So what this does is if I say if rank in, then I can select to just show admins only, maybe admin and maybe lecturer like this. So I can add the whole list here. So if you check this out, you will see that only uh, admins and lecturers are showing. So this is how you can select a specific selection. If you want to negate this, you can say rank and put not in like this. And everything but admin and lecturer will show, which in this case is super admin and reception. 
So this is how you can select very specific things to display. So in this case, we want rank to not be in um, student, yes, like that. So we'll leave it at this so that we can easily extend that if we want to. You can add super admin if you don't want to show super admins as well. Let me copy this. Add it to the student's query as well. So there's and rank not in. Oh, so it's not, not in, it's in student. So we just want to show students here. Okay, so here, instead of viewing that users, we're going to have one called students. Alrighty then. And instead of staff here, it's called students. And the link is students as well. Alrighty then, very good. So with that in mind, we can come to the users view, select everything and copy, create a new view in the views folder, paste, save, and we'll call this one students. Save. Alrighty then, so let's see what we've got. So students, and there we go. It says no staff members were found at this time can change that to no students, like so. No students were found at this time. So add new will still take us to this. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, at this location, we still have to select the rank over here, right? But we can add a little thingy here in the URL to make it select a very particular thing, particular one here, and then disable the whole thing so that we don't change it if we want to. And then um, also it should tell us where to redirect to, okay? So the best way is to make sure that the where we need to redirect is equal to the URL in there. So let's see how we can make do with that. So I'm going to go to the views for the sign up. And in the sign up view here, there's the console button here. So you see it takes me to users. But instead of doing this, we are going to just get from the get itself. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the controller. Let me add one more item here. The thing is, the reason I'm adding things here is I don't want to add too much uh, control code inside the view here. I want to do all the calculations in the controller as it should be. So here I'm going to say mode, I'll give it a mode and the mode will be equal to users. Okay, that's the mode. If I go to students, I will add a mode also. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not right. Okay, I'm doing the wrong thing, sorry. Let me just cut this out, like so. Yes. I have to do this in the sign up, yes. Mm -hmm. So right here, I will add mode, and mode will be equal to mode, like this. So the mode will depend on if a get variable is set. So I'm just going to say if is set, like so if the get variable is set and this one is mode then mod is equal to then question mark let's add mode there boom otherwise mode is going to be equal to users as the default 
or you can just uh, leave it empty like this so there is the mode so which means we need a get variable up there so I will copy mode and utilize it in the sign up view so sign up view where are you sign up sign up sign up there we go alrighty then so here instead of us actually hmm. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah this may cause a few problems so let's see here let's put users as the default mm -hmm. so we have a mode here but uh, let's fix all the possible modes let's say all modes is equal to users what other mode can there be hmm. lecturer no 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 student it's just the two students like this uh -huh. so the reason there are two modes like this is on the other hand we have users um, on another one we have students Ah, oh, wait a minute hmm. no actually this will just complicate things let me just do this remove all this uh, let me just do this yeah we don't want to complicate things the only time the mode will change is when we are selecting a student because there are only two places here you see we can either add a student or we can add a staff member so the staff members are all the rest admin reception uh, lecturer they're all just staff members the only other time is when we are adding a student that we are, ooh, we're going to have something different so it's just two modes we don't need to create a whole array for this so in the sign up view right here what i will just check for is i'll put two of these because they're just two versions of this so i'm going to put a php tag and say if mode is equal to students like this close that let me copy the end if put it here put another one here move everything over and then put an else statement here instead okay yes so if the mode is equal to students then we have students anything else will be users so simple and straightforward so let's try that refresh in users add new if i click cancel i come back to users if i'm on students add new and i click cancel i'm back to users why or oh why am i back here well that's because i didn't specify in the ad so let's go to the ad the students view and in this ad thingy let's add a question mark and say mode is equal to students that way it knows we are adding a student so refresh and click students if i now click cancel we come back to students if i go to staff members add click cancel i'm back to staff members so i think you get the vibe and we can do exactly the same thing on the ranks here so back to students view and where is the if statement what have i done here it's in the sign up sign up sign up sign up sign up view so right here copy that let's go to where the selector is right here so in this case if the um, we will only show this if uh, 
if this isn't true. So, oops, what have I done? I think I lost the copy. So, copy that. Let's put it here. Copy the else. Put it here. Copy the end if. Put it right here. Let's push everything over. Yep. So here what we will do is say uh, put an input instead of type text. And this will be disabled so that no one can uh, edit it. And then the value will be equal to student. The name will be rank. Mm -hmm. Like this. Pretty good. So let's refresh now. And you see, there we go, student, very nice. But uh, let's add a class as well, uh, form control. That way it looks like the others. Alrighty then. So you see on student, we have this set to student directly. Now somebody can easily edit this, but we have that error uh, checking thing if it's not correct. For example, if I add, uh, some text here to the value so it's not one of the selectables if i click add user what will it say rank is not valid okay so it's not a valid rank here in case somebody tries to be clever about it so let me refresh here recent uh oh rank is not valid really what were the values here Student, yes, student, I think the issue is disabled, maybe, when we disable it, let's see, add user, yeah, I think it's a disabling, that's the problem, so anyway, instead of disabling it, let's remove all this, let's just change the type to hidden, that way we save space. Mm -hmm. That way it doesn't even show at all. Okay, so it's not here, but we won't get an error either. Okay, great. So this is all you have to check. Mail, uh, select the gender, email, username, last name. You don't worry about the rank. Okay, so with those two in mind, uh, we should be able to add a student here. And let's do that in the next video.